Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you two different ways to have your block look one way while having the physics of another um, something that it normally doesn't. So for instance this block uh, normally it's just a regular platform block, arena block but let's say I want to make this magnetic and the reason I can't um, I could just change the, 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 the actual look of the block to something like the um, the tubes, like I could use one of these materials and the block would automatically become magnetic. But this block, the tubes from Canyon, uh, they're accelerated magnets. And I want, don't want to have that. I want to have just a regular mag magnetic material, um, similar to what is in Lagoon. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to create a custom block from this block. So I've already placed the block in the map. I'm going to go down here to the plus sign and say add new custom block. I'm going to click the block that's in the map. Now we're in the item editor. And I'm going to open up Mesh Modeler by clicking over here. All right, now we're going to go down here to materials mode, which you can also get to by hitting F4. And then down here we're going to create material the plus sign. Now in here uh, we're going to click on is based on game textures. That makes sure that the item, uh, the, the material will be embeddable with the item because it's going to use a material that already exists in the game. So we're going to choose the same material, the arena floor. Now down here where it says surface ID, we're going to change that. Now you'll see there's just lots of different ones. But I'm going to go up here to, I think it's 62. Yes, so this is Tech Super Magnetic. So this would be the stronger magnets from Lagoon. That's fine, that's the one I want to use. And I'm going to save this as Arena Super Mag. And that'll save a new mat GBX file down here in my Documents Mania Planet Materials folder. You see we have arena super mag .mat .gbx. Okay, and then it's already saved, so I'm going to go ahead and back out of here. Now we're going to select the top of the block. Now I clicked once, and it selected the bottom and the top, so I'm going to click one more time. And now you can see only the top is selected. Our new material, arena super mag, is selected, and I'm going to apply it. So now it's changed the whole top. It looks the same, but it's actually this other material. And now I'm going to save this as Arena Super Mag. And this is actually um, actually a Slope End Super Mag. Good. Okay. Um, now I've backed out of it to the item editor. I'm going to go ahead and generate an icon, save it again, back out again. All right, I'm going to raise it. Actually, I need to select the correct block. So the new block is under 2, 2, 5, and this is the original, and then over here is the, uh, the new block. So I'm going to just create a little block to show you how it's changed. Uh, I mean, create a little map, okay. Um, place a booster, we'll have a start. Maybe a second booster. We'll see if it, if it can stay on the road. And then we'll put a checkpoint at the top. We'll place another magnetic one here. And then let's do something interesting. Let's, um, another magnet here and then we'll do a finish like that. We'll see if it can hang on. Alright, let's test it. Let me turn the sound up a bit. I'm not sure if the sound's coming through on the recording. But as you can see it stayed on the road. My gamepad's pulling the steering a little bit. So you can make quite the roller coaster. <laughs> I 
Okay, one of the things I forgot to tell you. Um, so with this block, the first way we did it, um, you need to make sure that you always have this mat.gbx file uh, in your materials folder. As soon as you save your map, uh, the map will be playable by other people um, without, and they don't need this file. But if you were to share this uh, block by itself, which is actually under blocks, uh, canyon, arena slope end. So if you're going to share this block, you would also need to share the materials file with whoever you share it with, or else the block won't work when they are building a map. So that's important. But like I said, if you save the map, the, uh, the, the material and all, all that is correctly saved with the map and you don't need to share anything except the map file. Okay, so that's one way to do it. Uh, there's a second way to do it where it doesn't use this file. So let's try that now. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to create a new custom block. I'm going to go into Mesh Modeler from Item Editor. What we're going to do is select the top. Okay, I'm going to hit Control X to cut. I'm going to go to a new layer and delete this cube over here, which is automatically created when you create a new layer. And I'm going to go down here to the tool step and just change it to zero. So when we, I'm going to hit Control V to paste in the top, the geometry I had cut from the first layer. And then we're going to do one more layer. I'm going to do the same thing, paste it in. Now we have two layers with the top. For this first layer, we want it to look the same. So I'm going to, going to say visibility is on, but I'm going to make it non-collidable. So basically you would fall through it. Um, it's just for the looks. Now for our second layer, we're going, to make, we're going to have it collidable. So this is the part of the, this is the layer that the car is going to interact with, but we're going to say it's not visible. So now we have this layer, and now we can modify it. Let's go into the materials mode. Now you'll notice that instead of like grass and dirt and arena and all that, now we, all of the materials have changed to physics. So we can apply any physics to this layer that we want. Because it's only collidable and not visible, um, it doesn't have to have any sort of visible property. So let's find same one, uh, tech, let's see, let's see that one, that one. Uh, here it is, tech super magnetic, it's the same one we used on the first block we created. I'm going to apply that. So now it's applied to that layer. So again, this top layer is collidable, but not visible. The next layer down is visible, but it's not collidable, I turned off collidable geometry. And the bottom layer basically only contains just the bottom of the block, which is both visible and collidable, as we want it to be. Now, if we wanted to make the block a little simpler, we could get rid of some of this stuff. It would actually save, make the block smaller. I often do this on the arena blocks because it's all underneath, and this saves some file size. And it's quite easy to go through and get rid of a bunch of that. Of course, we can get rid of all these two if we wanted. But Okay, so for the sake of our demonstration here, I'm going to go ahead and save this as arena slope in super mag, and I'll say 2. Oh, I forgot to generate a thumbnail. But actually, for this, uh, for this demonstration, I'll just leave it so I know which one is which. So I'm going to go ahead and build the same map. Oops, that's the other one. So I'm going to grab that one. Okay, let's try it out. It should behave the same way. And what's nice about this method is that uh, you can just share the block, which is this one here, Arena Slope End Super Mag 2, and there's no need to um, share the material file with it. 
that's very useful. You can also see the difference in file size. Even though I have uh, uh, one extra layer, or actually there's two extra layers, but there's one extra set of geometry for the for the top. Because I removed all the stuff on the, the bottom, you can see it went down from 104 kilobytes to 43 kilobytes. So it's definitely space saving to, to remove the stuff on the bottom. But that's a side point. Anyway, those are the two ways to create a uh, block that uses uh, one type of physics while looking at uh, a different way. And in both cases, the, uh, the block is uh, fully embeddable in your map. So I hope that tutorial um, is useful, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.